Alright guys, the Pirate 613 here. Today I'm actually bringing you a tutorial for Sony Vegas. I'm actually going to show you how to export audio, audio only on Sony Vegas, even if you have uh, videos playing. But you can actually export audio that you've edited in Sony Vegas, so that you don't have to export every split clip into Audacity and export it through that. You can actually do it on this, so I'll be showing you how to do that. So what you want to do is drag in your files in but since I already have them saved I will just quickly open thing since I have some uh, files that are missing just uh, ignore this but yes yeah, so I say you edited a lot of the audio or the commentary in the video and then you have music playing through it and now you want to basically just keep the audio and you know avoid the video so when you're done making the video what I simply tend to do is just delete the video tracks and anything else that doesn't really need to be there so now that we have just the audio on the track you can also do this with video but since I have an outro it's probably best to delete the whole uh, video track just so um, it doesn't carry on the amount of time so there's gonna be a, a, a slot where after the commentary is done it's just going to be quiet so you don't want that so that's why I've done this so it is very very simple the same as you render any video you go straight up you go to file you go to render as wait for it to load because mine takes a while and now when you're on at render so I'm just going to make it look like it's the default setup now what you want to go you can see it's highlighted there is Go straight to MP3 Odo. You should have this if you have the right Sony Vegas uh, 13. So there's a lot of different templates, but the one I t mostly use is the very last one called Highest Quality VBR Stereo Audio. Now the only thing I'd change about this is if you go to Customize Template is the stereo setting. Everything else just leave. You can also pop the uh, drag this to highest quality. If you want I just leave it as default and also if you do not want joint stereo you can just have the audio as stereo so that is also nice and the ID free settings I would just leave and you can also save this as a template so when you're done simply just press ok save this as a template if you wish and make sure it's highlighted rename it whatever you want browse and save it wherever you want and you just press render and since I already have it there I'm just gonna rename it something again let's call it S and if I press render now it does this extremely quickly um, audio is gonna be done very quickly either way so yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'll quickly show you the commentary at the very end to show you that it did indeed work and that the rendering did actually work so if I go to where it's actually saved now go to my rendered stuff Looks like, come on, 100%, there we go. So, pretty sure I called it second, didn't I? S, there we go, S. So, alright guys, V Pirate 613 here, bringing you some gaming news on the wench. As you can see, it's all done. So, I just have audio playing. I don't have any video tracks playing. So, you know, if you are on SoundCloud, this is a good way to import audio that you've done. Or, you know edits that you've done in Sony Vegas because if you do try to open this with inside audacity it will open the original audio track in full length it won't have any of the edits done in audacity so this is a good way and this is how I do it the quality is about the same as audacity except you know audacity is obviously going to give you more benefits for audio since it focuses on that but yeah, this is how I do it when I have done my videos and I want to upload a podcast version of it as well. I hope you enjoyed. If this helped you, make sure you leave a like. And if you want, subscribe to see more com uh, commentaries from me. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.